Good morning, dear student. Myself Arvinder. Today we will discuss assay of given sample of copper sulphate using iodometry. What is iodometry? In the iodometry, there is a first liberation of our iodine, which is further treated with our sodium thiosulphate solution. For this practical, we particularly need analytical balance, weight box, weighing back bottle, weights, fractional weights, then along with pipette, pureed, pureed stand, iodine flask, conical flask, and measuring cylinder, etc. For particularly this practical, we need chemicals like potassium iodide, potassium thiocyanate, copper sulphate, sodium thiosulfate, acetic acid, distilled water, starch as an indicator, and potassium dichromate. It is particularly used to standardize our sodium thiosulfate solution. Here, this is the principle of our SC of copper sulphate. Here, the sample of our copper sulphate, it is reacting with our potassium iodide in the presence of acetic acid to form cupric iodide. The cupric iodide which is formed, it is very unstable in nature. So, it is decomposed into cupric iodide along with iodine. Here, there is a liberation of our free iodide, iodine. So, this iodine, iodine is like reacting with our sodium thiosulfate to form sodium tetrathionate along with two moles of sodium iodide. Here, this is the procedure for the assay. We need 1 gram of copper sulfate sample. It is dissolved in 50 ml of water along with 3 gram of potassium iodide and 5 ml of acetic acid. Stir this solution. After that, there is a liberation of iodine which is further treated with our sodium thiosulfate. Then, we need starch which is used uh, towards the end of the titration as an indicator. Continue the titration until blue colored maize. After that, towards the end of the titration, we need 2 gram of potassium thiocyanate solution. Stir well and continue the titration until our blue color disappear. So, this is the like representation of our assay method. Here, this is your burer stand. This is your burer. In the burette, we need 0.1 normal of sodium thiosulfate solution. It is used as a titrant here. Because we need know the exact concentration, it is already standardized using our potassium dichromate. In the flask, we need 50 ml of D water. D stands for distilled water. 2 gram of potassium thiocyanate. Start solution as an indicator. 3 gram of potassium iodide. 1 gram of sample along with 5 ml of acetic acid. Then, why do we need 2 gram of potassium thiocyanate? As here, I described already the cupric iodide is decomposed into cupric iodide but this reaction is reversible so here cupric iodide is reacting with our potassium thiocyanate to form cupric thiocyanate solution. The formed cupric thiocyanate it is very springly soluble in nature. One thing taking care into mind, mind that we need, we have to add potassium thiocyanate solution towards the end of reaction because of removing, because of removing our adsorption of iodine by the cupric thiocyanate. So, according to, we need to calculate the percentage purity of our sample. Sample kya hai humara? Copper sulfate. So, there are calculation according to the percentage purity because in the assay we need to calculate what is the exact percentage purity of that particular sample. So, percentage purity is equal to V into N into 0 0.02497 along divided by 0.1 into double two. Double two stand for weight of our copper sulphate. Here V is the volume of your sodium thiosulphate after each titration. We need to calculate according to three readings. In the first reading 
here is your serial number then is your initial reading then here is your final reading and here kya aa jayega aapka volume used so we need to calculate three readings then after three readings we have a mean and we have to put in the v n is the normality of sodium thiosulfate solution which is we this uh, which we had after its standardization then we need to add our uh, factor calculation how it is done as we know 1 ml of sodium 1 ml of sodium thiosulfate is equal to copper sulfate is equal to kya aa jayega 40 249.68 g of copper sulfate so 1000 of one normal sodium thiosulfate is equal to 249 point something 1 ml kitne ke ho jayega equal 0.249 ye idhar karenge to 7 g ho jayega theek hai then agar aap isko 1 ml of point 1 normal karenge so this is equal to your point 0.02497 g of copper sulfate so now you will like calculate how this come your 1 ml of point 1 normal of your sodium thiosulfate is equal to this much of copper sulfate so here we put point 0.02497 In 200 क्यों लिख रहे हैं? Because we are calculating according to percentage purity. Suppose here is your volume used is I am supposing that B is equal to 35 something. अगर इतनी reading मेरे पास आती है, तो simply you have to put in this and after calculation your percentage purity of copper sulfate is 96.13. This is your percentage purity of उसके बाद क्या है आप परसेंटेज का साइन लगा दोगे दैट दिस इज योर परसेंट ऑफ कॉपर सल्फेट इज दिस मच ऑफ प्योर थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स